you ever go through those moments with your reading where you just sort of like I don't even really know who I am anymore <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Chloe, welcome back to my channel, thank you for being here today. Today's video is inspired by Maddie from Book Browsing Blog and she has recently done a video where she talked about being in a genre slump, which is I believe a term that was coined by Steph from Steph Loves, but essentially she was just talking about the fact that her reading tastes have changed and about the fact that she is normally a fantasy reader and thought that she was in just a standard reading slump because she wasn't wanting to pick up the books that she normally enjoys but then found out that actually she wants to read she just doesn't want to read fantasy and I was thinking about this and I'm kind of in the opposite situation at the minute and I wanted to talk about it a little bit so basically I am like in the opposite of a slump at the minute I am very very much enjoying what I'm reading I'm reading a lot I'm sort of when I am sitting down and focusing on reading I'm managing to read sort of like 300 plus pages a day which is not like me at all and I'm finding myself like really wanting to pick books up but the books that I'm wanting to pick up are very different than what I expect them to be I am normally very much a contemporary reader which sounds strange when I'm sat in front of these shelves but actually these are probably a big part of where this is coming from as well because it's something I've been noticing over the last sort of year or so but like I said I'm very much I've always classed myself as a contemporary reader like when I was saying my favorite if you'd have asked me last year what my favorite books are I would have named you a lot of contemporary books probably a lot of YA as well and I am not the target audience for YA I know that I know that I am an older YA reader but I still find a lot of enjoyment in that age range although I do feel like I am starting to move away from that and that might be something of it as well is that I am starting to sort of age out of the books that I was reading previously and I'm finding that actually in adult books what I want from those is different to what I would want from YA and that's possibly because YA fantasy doesn't is not always the strongest like some of it is amazing I will say that but sometimes the world building can be a little bit of an issue but when I'm reading adult books and when I'm like reaching for books to read at the minute I just want these more complex worlds I want this just just more and the only way I can describe it I don't think I'm doing a great job in this video of actually what I want to talk about let's go back a little bit like I said ask me last year what Talk, sort of books I would have reached for it would have been contemporary it would have been oh I, I can I can see some of my favorite books over on the shelves over there and I've got like some Alice Ozma on there I've got some Becky Albertalli I've got some Adam Silvera there's Case and Calendar books on there there's Elsie Rose and there's plenty of YA contemporary that are on these shelves right in front of me over here but then about probably about just over a year ago probably during lockdown actually I think because I had a bit more time to sit down and read and I wasn't just sort of reading on the commute I had more time to actually like concentrate on the stories that I was reading so I started picking up things that have intimidated me for a while and one of the first ones that I probably did that with was this author behind me which is V.E. Schwab. So I've been a fan of V.E. Schwab's writing for a while. I first read one of her books probably about four or five years ago but the series that I'd put off reading a lot was A Dark Shade of Magic because it just felt more grown up, a little bit more intimidating, a little bit more to it essentially. I'd read Vicious because that was more dystopian, it had a real world setting in it. Same with This Savage Song because it had a slightly more, it had something that I could relate to the real world in it a little bit more, it was still an urban setting. Whereas A Dark Shade of Magic was in a different world, there are four Londons and only one of them vaguely resembles our own and even that's more of a historical setting. So I was terrified of reading it definitely and then I picked it up and adored that series and just read them all in pretty much one go but I didn't sort of carry on with that trend I was still reading a lot of contemporaries in between and then every so often I'd pick up another series I ended up adoring and one of them being this one right behind me which is Poppy War by R.F. Wong. So that one is a Chinese mythology inspired martial fantasy and it's very grimdark as well so there's a it's very heavy to read. It's like quite easy in the world building but there is 
a lot it is very adult compared to what i've read previously and again i just ended up devouring that series but didn't really think anything of it at the time and then i did end up reading laney taylor at the beginning of the year and yes daughter of smoke and bone is a ya fantasy series but it's more but i would argue that he gets more and more adult as it goes along and i don't think her version of ya fantasy is like fits into that sort of lack of world building that you sometimes get from YA fantasy I would say that it is closer towards adult and then also I reread Strange the Dreamer which I enjoyed when I previously read it but I just loved it so much more this time and that is very adult as well and yeah just slowly but surely noticing that my reading tastes have changed so in the last month I have decided to kind of challenge myself a little bit and read some of the adult fantasy series that I might have had on my shelves for a while but I maybe put off reading them because I was scared of reading them like there's no other thing for it really I was scared so the first one I read actually I didn't have on my shelves for very long but I'd been thinking about getting it for a while and it was probably the most intimidating in a way just because it's what I was letting myself in for and also because it is very much described as a classic of the adult high fantasy genre I mean it was published in 1995 it's still popular now it is very much a classic of that genre and that was Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb and I adored this book. Like, I gave this book five stars. I immediately bought the sequel. I'm planning on reading all of them, if I can. And then I ended up picking up City of Brass by S.A. Shackleborough. So this is Kingdom of Copper because you are sitting on City of Brass at the minute. So this is a sequel. And yes, you can see, I enjoyed it. I bought the sequel straight away. I haven't read this one yet, but I will be reading it soon. And again, just something that I really thought I would not enjoy. It just seemed like there was too much to it. It was too magical. It was too much for me. But I loved it. And then this week, I have read the entirety, or I will have by the end of this week, I've read the entirety of the Nevernight Chronicle. And I have adored this as well. And again, I've owned this one for absolutely years, Read, started reading it, had to immediately buy these two because I'm obsessed. And it's just surprising to me, I suppose. <laughs> and I don't really know why I'm making this video, to be honest. It was just, like I said, I really loved Maddie talking about sort of her reading taste changing and her sort of just adapting with that and I would say that that's kind of where I'm at at the minute as well and I'm kind of just embracing the fear is the way I'm seeing it like things that usually I am intimidated by I'm going yeah but we saw what happened last time you were intimidated by something you loved it and so I suppose what I'm trying to say here is don't let a book being intimidating put you off reading it because you could end up with new all-time favorites like this one in particular terrified me at the beginning of it grimdark was something that I had never read before and this was one of my favourite books that I read last year. I absolutely adored this entire trilogy and I'm very glad that I did push myself to read it because if you don't you could be missing out on an all-time favourite. So yeah there's not really much to this video other than to say it's okay if you read into Strange, it's okay to try new things you might not love them like there have been some fantasies i've read and gone yeah no not for me although actually again the one that i read recently that i really disliked was oia fantasy so maybe that's just what i'm figuring out is that ya is not for me at the minute either but yeah that sort of cheesy line of like do one thing every day that scares you which sounds really ridiculously cheesy and over the top when it's about reading a book but yeah just like i'm i'm pushing myself with what i'm reading and i'm feeling quite good about that so i thought i would catch you guys up on that and also i'm going to use this opportunity to ask for recommendations if there are i've just told you some adult fantasy series i'm really loving at the minute so if anything that you guys can recommend me that you think i might love please do let me know i'm open to trying things clearly i don't really know where i was going with this video i just wanted to have a chat about where my reading tastes are at at the minute i suppose i should also probably say actually though that i'm just leaning towards adult in general because the contemporary stuff that i am reading is more like adult romance and things like that so yeah maybe i'm just growing up i suppose i have to admit one day that i'm getting old that's and that's a nice note to end this video on it was a weird possibly short but also possibly rambly video so thank you guys for watching if you've got this far please like comment subscribe all that good stuff down below let me know your recommendations i really really would love to hear them i think that's kind of what this is it's just me crying out for what books should i really be reading because i am open to trying new things but yeah i'll see you guys next time with a new video bye